Hey guys, welcome to Dame and that Game. I'm Dame and this is Buried. Yeah, we got some tutorials for you today. Uh, this is one tutorial I've been working on for a long time now uh, and it's the Maxis side of the Easter egg. So let's jump straight into this. I've tried to make it as easy as I can and I hope you can all understand. So, first things first, you're going to need all the parts for the galley which is located outside the courthouse which is by the Witch's Mansion. The first part, which is most probably the easiest part, um, is right above Leroy's house or cage even like you call it um, it's like a light bulb uh, so that would be your first part for the galley the second part is located uh, through the chalk room where all the chalks are on the wall the guns or you can either access it through the bank be aware that this is one of the parts that you can also put on the guillotine for the richer than size of the easter egg so if you put it on the guillotine you won't be able to follow Max's side so be careful. The third part is the aerial. This is located in a barn. You could probably pick this one up uh, as you drop down from where you spawn. It's probably the first part you should get, as a matter of fact. And again, if you put this onto the guillotine, this is also a part of the Richard Finn's Easter egg. So make sure you put it on the galley and not the guillotine. And last but not least, it is the battery. Uh, this is located in the church. You will need Leroy Jenkins to knock down the rubble for you. Um, just run in as located at the at like the judges stand uh, right at the back or front, as you would probably call it if he was in in the church. Um, and yeah, and that's the last part. Uh, put it all onto the galley, and that is your first step complete. So if you've gotten this far, congratulations. You can build a buildable. <laughs> uh, now here comes the hard bits. Step two, uh, there is four orbs located around the map. They're glass orbs um, and you need to destroy them. Um, so what you will first have to build is the resonator um, and you would also have to build the turbine. Um, again, if, if one of your friends quits the turbine and you yourself quits the resonator, the job becomes a lot easier. So the first orb location is located straight outside the saloon. Drop your resonator, drop your turbine, uh, wait a few seconds, all the power will start up and it will go boom and that will blow up the glass. That's your first orb. Your second orb is located within the cave system. You can access this through a couple of ways but the easiest way that I find is if you go into the saloon up the stairs, there's like a little train track rail that leads you straight into the mines. Um, just keep walking forward and it's going to be on your first right. And again, someone dropped the resonator, someone else dropped a turbine waiting for the power to spin and boom. There's your second orb. The third orb is located outside the church, which is on uh, the witch's haunted house side. Uh, if you're facing the church, it's on the left-hand side within the rocks. So if you go behind there, drop your resonator, drop your turbine, kaboom. And last but not least, your last orb is located on the other side of the witch's mansion. Uh, what I find was a lot easier was keeping two players on one side and just taking two players through the house as the witch will spawn one witch per player. So if there's four players in the house, that's four witches. The first player gets four witches to kill. It becomes very difficult as the last person can't shoot through three players. So um, two players at a time is the best is the best strategy I recommend. Again, um, as you come out of the witch's house, what run straight round if you was to run back through the witch's house and it's quite hidden but is in there on your left hand side, you can see in the video, drop your resonator, drop your turbine and that is your last orb. Uh, you should hear a confirmation as well. Excited time. Yeah, this is the bit. After you've done that, there will be a lantern that appears uh, on the original side of the map uh, where the saloon is, things like that. Um, you need to take this lantern down with a frag grenade. Now, this lantern does spawn now and then. It, it will fly around for about 15 to 20 seconds, disappear for f five, and then respawn. So um, take that bad boy out with a frag grenade and pick it up. So the next step now you've got the lantern is that you're going to need to fill it up with souls. Um, you need to do this by training up some zombies. You need about 10 zombies um, and Leroy Jenkins need to kill them himself. So train up some zombies like we have. F feed Leroy Jenkins um, some sweets. As he starts uh, knocking over and bashing up the zombies, um, as you run into like the zombies mist after he killed one, you you'll start hearing your lantern fill up with some dings like ding, ding, ding. Um, you need to do this 10 times, fill up the lantern with 10 zombies and... Um, you are then full and ready to use your lantern. So the fifth step, it, now you've got the lantern, is take the lantern on top of the gunsmith. Um, on top of there, there's going to be a little lantern sign illuminated on the floor. Uh, press action to fit your lantern and there's going to be a cipher on the wall. Now this cipher corresponds with signs that are in the mines. <laughs> it rhymes. So yeah, um, each... each uh, each sign in the mine has a different letter at the beginning. So what I've done is, all I've done is ciphered the first letter of every letter of the sign, um, the signs in the mines. So um, what I've done, what I've put on screen for you is the actual tic-tac-toe cipher, how you could work it out. And I've also put on there um, 
just the first letters already converted for you. So all you got to do is convert the first letters and you know your combination without having to work out the whole thing. But if you would like to learn about tic-tac-toe ciphers, then just Google tic-tac-toe cipher. It's very, very simple. Um, when you work it out, you won't even need uh, a diagram to help you. So it might be worth just checking out for a few seconds. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that I've been following and they are amazing. Now the next step is vital. You're going to need the time stop device. Um, what you're going to want to do is before you do any of the next steps, uh, you're going to want to put the time stop device down because you're going to have to do this process twice. And next step, probably one of the most hardest steps along with the next two that's coming. Um, you need the Galvan knuckles for this and now you've got your combination of signs you need to hit. You need to go into the mines and find the signs. Um, they're pretty easy. The mine system is not that big and um, they're usually hidden within like a little blocked area. Um, you need to punch your signs in the right combination with your Galvan knuckles. Uh, now every time you punch a sign it, it will glow red and when you punch the last sign um, a little white orb will come out. Now this is quite difficult. I've done this a few times and uh, uh, we figured out that it was the zombies keeping the aura powered so we set up players all around the map that's why it's vital we, <laughs> we had a seam and we followed the orb around the map so it would pass through zombies and keep his energy well after times and times of trying i found that the paralyzer seemed to keep it charged even more so as you can see on the video um i'm chasing the orb i've just done the galvan knuckles i'm chasing the orb with the paralyzer it passes through one lot of zombies um on the first time we did it uh there wasn't any any zombies on the second location but there was green mist uh, from um, from Vulturade and it seemed to get power from that green mist which was absolutely excellent uh, with that I traveled straight through by the toy shop and that was our first wisp in the in the galley now the next step quote simply <laughs> um, press the time stop device so you go back the times uh, and the wisp will still be in the galley but you'll still be able to punch the signs in order again so just repeat your process uh, and this will this will put the second wisp into the galley. You'll also hear a confirmation that you've done it correct. And if you've done this, you are an absolute boss. On to the next one. So the next step, again, it's very, very difficult. It depends. Uh, it, if you can work it out quick, then you're going to fly through. Um, you've got to go into the witch's house. Uh, if you keep walking, I don't know if you've seen it before, but there's a light box on the left-hand side as you're walking through um, with a picture above it. Well, it's now got a lever on. You can activate that lever and lights start appearing. Um, well, we figured out that these lights correspond with bells in different locations. You've just simply got to hit them in the right order. Um, so what we did work out, the right-hand set of uh, bells uh, horizontally were for the court, the middle set were for the barn, and the left set were for the candy store. So we had a person in each location. Um, and as I was in the witch's house, we simply... Uh, Work it out on a piece of paper as I ask someone to push each bell in each location, we just put left, right, and center. So when I actually pulled the lever and the combination of lights come up, I could simply shout out candy store left or court center, and they would know exactly what bell to press. So as you can see here, um, communication is absolutely vital with this. Um, we've done it. Props to the people I was doing, with, doing it with. Honestly, they are absolutely amazing. We've done it after we've done it. We were so excited. Um, yeah, good luck. Honestly, good luck with this part. If you are here at this location, you are a beast. You are officially a black ops zombie. Beast. <laughs> you are a beast. The next step is the most hardest bit. I will put my hands up and admit it. I will not be modest about this. It is difficult. Um, four of you will have to stand right on the map. There's four locations that targets will pop up. Now, what you have to do is if you go to the wishing well, um, that is on the witch's side of the map, um, not the witch's side of the map, but where the witch's mansion is, you notice you can make a wish. Now, when you press action to make a wish, um, targets start popping up in these four locations. So, what I've done is I've put a camera in the four locations for you, so you can see them, but what? I'd get yourself in there, press X a few times, and memorize the locations. Now, what you need to do, you need to hit these targets, every single one, without them falling down. All of you. It took us at 60 minutes, over 60 minutes, to complete this step. Um, you know, there's people say sleight of hand and things like that, but I don't think that works because the targets aren't real targets, they're just props in the map, so you can't, you, you know, it won't automatically aim, so there's no aim assist for the targets. Um, good luck, good luck. After you've done this, this is the Easter egg complete, you've done it. You've done probably one of the most hardest Easter eggs that I've known in Black Ops. Um, but yeah, props to Treyarchs, because this is absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed myself so much playing this. I've been on it now for four days flat. 
and um i've done it and i'm so proud that i've done it so um yeah good luck guys and uh, enjoy yourself have a good time you know try not to get too stressy on it um it's only a game okay it's only a game can i also give a big 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 shout out to my teammates and i mean huge because without them this would have never have happened i tried on solo and it just don't work so big up even neon frog he is my boy an absolute huge shout out to darkness thank you man and Zen and the Beast, who joined probably halfway through, but if he didn't, we never would have done it. So props to you too, bro. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope this tutorial has been a real big help to you. Um, I wish it was there when I was doing it, because it would have been a real big help to me. Um, if you need any help with it, just leave a comment in the comment box below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. But um, yeah, peace out, man. Uh, um, I'm also on Facebook, Facebook forward slash Damon at Game. I'm also on Twitter at Damon at Game. I really appreciate if you could come by, say hi, maybe even pie. You know it is i love all my bros and mysterious o's so um yeah i love you all peace out this is your boy dame